So we've all seen those posts on Instagram where you scroll across and it's like a landscape photo, but they've split it up. And so as you scroll across, you kind of, you see half of it, you scroll across and you see the other half of it and it perfectly lines up. It's so satisfying. I recently did it myself on Instagram. It's at Teo Hudson. If you are not following me already, please do. But I basically did it with this recent post. Um, when I went to Edinburgh. So you can see that as I scroll across, it perfectly lines up. Oh, come on, that is, that, that's satisfying. Come on, give me that. But how exactly does one do such an effect? Now, of course you could buy or get tied into monthly payments with one of these expensive apps. And yeah, you, know, you can do a few different tricks and do a few different effects. You can kind of add the white borders like I, I just showed you there. Um, but if you're a bit of a cheapskate like moi, then you can do all of that inside of Photoshop. So first of all, you wanna make sure that your Photoshop project file is the correct size in terms of the pixels if this is gonna fit perfectly across that portrait feed post. It's 1080 by 1350 for that kind of uh, portrait image, that single image portrait. So obviously we're gonna be using two of those to make up our landscape image. So you wanna make sure that your Photoshop file is set to, uh, God, I suck at maths. Okay, so you wanna you want to make sure your project file is set to 2160 by 1350. So that way that when you divide that photo into halves, it, you, you'll get the, you know what I'm trying to say, you, you'll get the actual single portrait image size and, and it'll all be correct. So then you're gonna use the crop tool. Um, you can just press C. We're gonna be using the slice tool, so make sure you have that selected. Then you're gonna draw a box across the image and wait until it kind of snaps to the center of the image. You'll see what I mean when you do this. Okay, that's it, you can let go. Then you wanna to go to File, Export, and then Save for Web. I usually set my images to a JPEG. We've already dealt with our pixel size, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, then you just hit Save, save it to a file location that you'll remember. And then you'll see that inside the folder, you've got those two halves, those two split images. Um, and then that's all ready to go for Instagram. Then I usually just airdrop it to my phone from my Mac and that's it, you're, you're off to the races then. You then, then you're part of the cool half and half image uh, Instagram club. But yeah, no, that's literally it. It's dead easy. If you like the video, then don't forget to give it a like. Um, it really does help me out. Subscribe if you haven't done already and click the bell icon so that you can stay updated for whenever I post a new video. As a little shameless plug at the end here, I do have a small online store. There you'll find assets, presets, and LUTs. And you can get yourself 10% off if you use my discount code TEO10 at checkout. It's made with small creators in mind and you'd be supporting the channel too. But anyway, that pretty much wraps it up. As always, I'll catch you in the next one.